If you really want to lose weight in the new year, ditch the carbs for weight loss in 2017. Here's some of the rules and what you have to do if you really want to finally win the battle. Forget about New Year's resolution. This is a lifestyle change, and the number one rule is eat to satisfaction. Eat when hungry until you feel satisfied, but not stuffed. That's the whole number one secret. Eat to satisfaction. Don't fight the hunger, because the hunger is always going to win. But how do you control your hunger? By controlling your carb intake. You should have no more than 20 net carbs daily. Get your carbs from non-starchy vegetables. Eat carbs with either a fat or a protein, meaning when you have a carb, make sure you also have some fat and some protein. The net carb formula, how do you figure it out? You take total carb count of a food minus the fiber count equals your net carbs. So eat more fibrous food and that will help cut down the amount of carbs in your meal. Good carbs or complex carbs are harder to digest, burns calories being digested, keeps you feeling fuller longer. Natural sugar doesn't spike blood sugar levels, and it's used for energy. The gold glycemic helps you lose fat. While bad carbs are simple carbs, are digested immediately, don't burn many calories being digested, makes you hungry sooner, makes you crash, causes sugar cravings. It's addictive. Yeah, sugar is addictive. And especially today, I was thinking about ketchup. All my life, I had to have ketchup with everything. And what it was, was the sugar addiction. You know, natural sugar versus processed and added sugars, they spike your blood sugar fast converts into fat easily, can cause other good nutrients to be stored as fat, have high glycemic, and helps you store fat. Do not eat bad carbs. Adequate protein. Protein is both 46% ketogenic and 50%, 58% anti-ketogenic. General imp- protein intake guidelines. If you have a sedentary lifestyle, 0.590 to 0.0 grams per pound of lean body mass. Mildly active, 0.8 to 1 gram per body mass. Heavy strength training, bodybuilder, and exercise, 1 to 1.2 grams per pound of lean body mass. So you do the numbers, how much do you weigh, and then multiply by these numbers and you'll know how much protein, uh, uh, adequate protein you should be having. Here's the diagram of uh, beans versus beef. The winner, round one, beans cost $1.07 per pound versus $5.28 pound for beef. Winner, round two, black beans, 130 calories, while ground beef has 270 calories. Fiber is an essential nutrient for digestion and cancer prevention. And truly, you could prevent cancer. Good protein choices. Fatty red meats. Chicken with the skin. Yeah, chicken with the skin. Turkey, eggs, deli meat. Yeah, deli meats. You know, we have been taught many erroneous facts about food. And deli meats is one of them. Seafood, fish, pork, veal lamb, fowl, organ meats, another one we've been told not to eat, game meats, eggs, nuts, seeds, and full-fat dairy in moderation as they contain carbs. Now, yes, the full-fat dairy contains fat and contains carbs, but bear in mind that when they reduce the fat contents, they add sugar and carbs to bring up the difference in the taste. You should have nuts every day. They should replace your cookies, cake, and crackers after dinner. It's important to have good protein choices. Lots of healthy fat. Fats typically provide more than half of the body's energy needs. Provide satiety. Boost metabolism. 
The best fats are monounsaturated and saturated. Margarine is never advised. It is fake and interferes with ketosis. Limit intake of polyunsaturated fats, including soybean oil, corn oil, and cotton, cotton seed oil. You know, a lot of us are not aware that these types of oil are the worst oils for your body. 12 foods to eat for healthy fat loss. Eggs, coconut oil, berries, dark chocolate. Yeah, but don't, don't overdo it. Potatoes in moderation. In fact, fried potatoes are better than baked and boiled potatoes because the fat added to the carbs in the potato help you keep it from spiking your blood. Pure free orange juice. You know, don't have more than a couple of ounces of orange juice because it's heavy in carbs. Uh, carrots, oysters, coconut oil, grass-fed beef, raw cheese, and organic uh, beans and nuts. It's all going to help you lose the weight and keep your blood sugar from spiking. Most important, drink lots of water. Water is a natural appetite suppressant. Supports the body's ability to metabolize fat. Several studies found that reducing intake of water might cause fat deposits to increase while drinking more reduces them. Hydration generally promotes weight loss. The more active you are, the more hydration you will need. Drinking water at the correct time maximizes its effectiveness on the human body. Two, glasses after work, waking up helps activate internal organs. One glass 30 minutes before a meal helps digestion. One glass before taking a bath lowers blood pressure. One glass before going to bed avoids stroke and heart attack. Live life, love life. Vinny Vertacci. Increase salt intake. Yeah, that sounds crazy, doesn't it? A little extra salt can help avoid positive side effects as your body adjusts to ketosis, including headaches, muscle cramps, or weakness that occurs as a result of electrolyte imbalance. And since a low-carb diet is naturally diuretic, you don't want to avoid salt. Drink one to two cups of broth daily or use soy sauce over food. Caution. Ask your doctor about increasing salt intake. Here's a chart here showing the health benefits of sodium. Adds in improving brain function, helps prevent sunstroke, facilitates glucose absorption by cells of the body, helps maintain normal contractions of heart, control kidney reactions, helps regulate fluid levels in the body, increases frequency of urination, provides relief from muscle cramps caused by electrolyte imbalance, helps to a useful and healthy skin, Eliminate excess carbon dioxide. And what it's saying here is that when you start cutting out the carbs in your body, your body's going to start trying to push the stuff out. And you have to replace the salts that you're losing and also the water that you're losing. We want to remind you that we have two great programs available to help you win your struggles in 2017 and going forward. You know, it's not a diet, it's a lifestyle. And the Kenogenic Diet and the Mindfulness for Weight Loss are two great programs we have available for immediate download at a greatly reduced price to help you win and get all the information that you need to be really successful in your weight loss struggles in the new year. Don't forget, it's not about a New Year's resolution. It's about a lifestyle change, about creating a new life for yourself, getting what you want in life, meeting the people you want to meet, have the kind of friendships and, and lifestyle that you want, fit into the clothes you couldn't fit into anymore. We also offer three great e-course packages at SaturdayMorningDiet.com or just type in SaturdayDiet.com to help you win your struggles against weight loss. These are great programs that are greatly reduced in price. We have a bronze, a silver, and gold package. Each one brings its own special value. So don't forget, tell your friends, share this information, subscribe. We'll see you on the next video. We wish you the best and happy weight loss. Bye-bye. See you again.